This tutorial will teach you how to use our In Context databases. Although this tutorial will teach you how to use U.S. History in Context, as you can see, Biography in Context, Global Issues in Context, Science in Context, World History in Context, and Opposing Viewpoints in Context all look nearly identical to it, so you can use this tutorial to help you when searching those databases as well. Additionally, Opposing Viewpoints in Context has its own tutorial that you can watch. To access any specific database, start on the library homepage and click on the Library Electronic Resources link. Because you know what specific database you'll be searching, click on the Library Databases A to Z list. This lists the databases alphabetically, so we'll scroll to the bottom to find U.S. History and Context. Because I'm on campus, I'm going to click the College Wired Network link. If you're off campus, use the Wireless Remote link. Here you can begin your searching one of two ways, using the search bar or using the database's existing topics. I'll show you both. I'll start by searching Seneca Falls to research the Seneca Falls Convention. Here I will see a list of results for Seneca Falls, including academic journal articles, news articles, magazines, case overviews, and even audio. I can also search within these results. The other way you can start your search is by searching the database's existing topics. To do this, you'll click on Browse Topics, and then you'll find this alphabetical list of their topics. If you know specifically what you'd like to research, you can scroll down to see if they have it. For example, I would be able to click on the Seneca Falls Convention. If I wasn't sure what topic I'd like to use, I could choose from these categories. If I knew I wanted to study something about the women's movement, I could click Political Constructs, Movements, and Organizations. From here, I would also find the Seneca Falls Convention. Although searching the database is an excellent way to start your research, I would suggest using the Topics page, which has collected all of the database's information on an issue and separated this information out by source type. Every topic page has a brief introduction to the subject as well as a list of articles, books, and other sources that the database has on your topic. It also has related topics, and you could click on these topic pages for more information. To begin looking at academic journal articles, I can click the academic journal link at the top of the page, or the view all 13 beside academic journals. Here is a list of the academic journal articles that the database has access to that deal with the Seneca Falls Convention. A brief description of each article is listed on the right-hand side. I'm going to click on Women and the Question of Universal Suffrage in 1848. From here, I can read the article, or by clicking on this email button, I can email it to myself, I can print it, or I can get the citation using the Citation Tools button. If you're going to be looking for more than one article, I recommend instead just saving the article by clicking this Save button. To look at more results from academic articles, click on this View All button above the title. To go back to the Seneca Falls Convention topic page, I'll click on this topic button. The Primary Sources page often contains great historical documents. Again, they will give you a brief description on the right-hand side. I'm going to click on the Seneca Falls Declaration of Sentiments. Again here, I can read the full text of the article, I can email it to myself, print it, use the citation tools, or save it to my research, which is what I'm going to do now. Once you've selected all the sources you'd like to use, you can click on your Saved Items list on the top of the page. From here, you'll want to either check all or check specific ones that you'd like, and then you can email, print, or find the citations for these articles, just like for the individual articles. Congratulations, you now know how to use the In Context databases. If you have any more questions, you can see our Opposing Viewpoints in Context tutorial or please ask one of the librarians.